Concerns over sewage sludge being transported through and dumped in Baldwin County is getting a lot of attention tonight. Local environmental group Mobile Baykeeper has been monitoring the process, a practice that has prompted the call for stronger state regulation. Tonight, James Gordon has a look at what's really in the sludge. James, what needs to be done to make the practice of using it as a fertilizer safer? Well, there's a push for stricter regulation, and right now the dumping sites, well, they're regulated by the EPA, and there's a call for the state to step in, too. As we reported last night, ADEM is planning to vote next month on stricter regulations for the transport and disposal of biosolids. There are spots all over Baldwin County and even north of here where humans don't live within five or ten miles. They didn't announce to anyone that they was going to show up and start dumping this stuff. This after a series of public hearings where folks like Matt Tomley, who lives in Baldwin County, complained to state officials. Right now, Alabama does not regulate dumping sites leaving it to the EPA. A number of problematic pollutants are left behind when you when you do your sewage treatments. You have all kind of things that people put down the drain. The bigger question is what's really in the biosolids, the byproduct of the treated sewage. Sharon Sura is the sewage plant manager at Daphne Utilities. Regulated on the, you know, as far as the distance from households, slope of the land, if there's any kind of waterways near it, et cetera. All of these things are addressed in the regulation. People who live near the site on Fox Branch Road in Baldwin County say those steps may not be enough. I don't know how the state cannot protect us. I, I really don't. So we've got to make sure that we, we have the regulations, that it's not on a trustee basis, but we know and we feel confident that the regulations will protect us. Well, using the sludge as fertilizer is now common practice throughout the country. The other alternatives would be to incinerate that sludge or simply place it in a local landfill. We're live in Baldwin County, James Gordon, NBC 15 News.